Hello everyone, welcome back to Living Gardens Homestead. If this is your first time visiting our channel, please subscribe. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, uh, what's going on. You know, we're in January now. It won't be long that, uh, and I'm getting excited because I love gardening time, and it won't be long the spring will be here. That's the way I look at it. I love getting in the garden, and I love growing things. And uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit better about it. Uh, but right now's the time, uh, you know, start sitting down and planning your garden. Plan what you want to raise. I know when I first started gardening, it seemed like I wanted to order every seed there was and plant everything that there was out there. But you know what? You waste a lot of garden when you do that. Uh, it's a good time to sit down. Now, you know you're going to need potatoes. And you know you're going to need beans. And if you like corn, you may want to raise you some sweet corn. But uh, potatoes, we usually around here, I think it's around March, we start planting our potatoes. And uh, depending on the weather, we can start planting uh, our peas around uh, that time or a little later. And we love peas here at the homestead also. But uh, it's... You know, sit down and plan out your garden, what you want to grow, and about how many rolls of stuff you'd like to have, and uh, start planning for it now. Order seeds if you can. Another thing that I like about the spring of the year is uh, chicks. Now, we've got enough hens now to lay our eggs for us, uh, but, uh, you know, we need to start thinking about what about chicken to eat. And uh, like I said before in the, in the other video, uh, which I want to apologize about, uh, I'm sorry about the audio on that video. Uh, I want to make an apology for that. It seems like you had to turn it all the way up in order to hear what uh, was being said. But anyway, chicks, uh, we'll probably by the end of next month, we'll probably start hatching our chicks so that they uh, hatch out in uh, uh, March and those of you that, that don't know much about chickens, chickens, it, once they hatch, it takes them about five months to get big enough to when they'll start laying eggs. So you gotta plan on that when, when uh, you wanna get your chicks. It's gonna take you about five months before you start getting your first eggs. But uh, yeah, we'll probably, uh, in the next months, probably start uh, filling our incubators with eggs and, and trying to hatch out enough chickens to uh, uh, so that we can process and, and have enough chicken in the freezer to do us until the next year. Uh, also, another thing I like about the spring is I like my bees. I love fooling with my bees. I love uh, the honey they reward you with. Uh, they're pollinators, so they help uh, if you need pollination, like in your garden and stuff. Uh, I'm just getting excited. I love springtime. I love when springtime comes around. Uh, but uh, I was wanting to bring you a little news that uh, we may possibly here on the homestead uh, I told you years ago we had goats and uh, we milked our goats to, uh, to get our milk and our cheese and our butter and uh, uh, believe it or not goat's milk uh, has a lot more nutrients in it than cow's milk does now you can have some people that can't drink cow's milk because it upsets their stomach. Uh, goat milk doesn't upset your stomach like cow's milk does. Uh, a lot of people, they, they fringe when they hear goat's milk. But yes, goat's milk is a lot better for you than cow's milk. And uh, now the, the goats we had before, we had uh, Nubians and we had uh, uh, Nigerian dwarf goats. And out of those two goats, I can't mention any others because I ain't had them, but out of those goats, I believe that the Nigerian goats, the milk tasted almost identical to uh, cow's milk. And it was easy to digest. Uh, the reason I bring that up is we're hoping that the beginning of the next month we may have got in touch with somebody. We've been looking for a while, trying to find some goats. But uh, I think... We may have found someone that uh, first of the month we're going to go pick up uh, three uh, three adult does that's already in milk so that as soon as I get them here we can start milking. Uh, 
Lord knows we drink a lot of milk and <laughs> we use butter on everything. Uh, but along with those three does, uh, one of them has a kid. And uh, we're going to get the kid to go with her and, and let, let the kid stay on the mother. Uh, but uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about getting back into the goats. And these are Nigerian dwarf goats also. So I, I figure the milk will be just as good. But uh, that's another thing for you to think about. Uh, you know, those of you that don't realize it, this year is going to be a tough year because of what went on last year. Uh, I hate to bring it up so much, but, uh, you know, we're liable to have a food shortage or at least not be able to get the kinds of foods we want or can't afford the foods that we want. Uh, I've decided to get out of uh, the beef. Uh, and as far as our, our uh, hog goes, she's about 400, 450 pounds at least. And uh, we're already calling, trying to find uh, someone to process her for us. And that'll probably be the last, uh, last hog that we have. Uh, simply because of the feed cost and everything going up, the goats don't cost a whole lot to feed, and the chickens, depends on how many you got, uh, they're not too bad to feed either. But uh, I thought I'd bring you this video because I'm, I'm feeling kind of pumped because springtime's just right around the corner and I can start all over again. Uh, I love doing it. And I'm sure there's a lot of my viewers out there that watch these, uh, this, these videos we put out that you love it too. And I'm telling you, I'm itching to get started back uh, growing again this spring. Uh, I'm, I'm already over winter. <laughs> I just don't, don't want no more. I want spring to come so I can enjoy uh, getting out in the garden and the hydroponics and all that. And for those of you that uh, don't know much about gardening, watch some of our videos, especially the hydroponics. If you live like uh, in an apartment or uh, in the city or someplace, you, you can make small containers and raise hydroponics. And uh, uh, especially stuff for salads, like your lettuces and stuff, they grow really fast, and you can have your little crop to go right away. Uh, but, uh, yeah, are you all excited for springtime to come? I'm, I'm already ready. I've had enough of this cold weather and, and, and uh, stuff going on. I want to see some new green buds popping out and stuff. But, uh, uh, yeah, uh, and, and viewers... I love all you all that watch our channel and view our channel. Uh, we like sharing with you what we can. I, I try not to be too too down about things, but the truth's the truth, and, and I just want you all to know ahead of time. But uh, if, you, if you haven't already started your pantry, get, get started on it right away. Uh, if you're going to put a garden in, get, get to planning it now. Plan on what you want to put, where you want to put it. Uh, if you want to start hydroponics, go ahead and start getting your stuff together and, and, and get it ready. And, and, you know, in no time, spring's going to be here. And like I said before in one of my other videos, the uh, potato shortage, uh, you can grow your own potatoes, and it's not hard. And uh, it don't if you do it right, it won't cost you anything because you can save your seed potatoes to replant again this year, and it don't cost you anything but your labor and uh, breaking up your ground. But uh, anyway, hopefully I'll get some more videos out to you, and uh, I hope you all enjoy these. And like I said, I'm sorry about the last video. The, the volume didn't come out too good on that one. But uh, anyway, uh, if you don't care, please like, subscribe to our channel, and uh, uh, share us on your Facebook and, and your uh, social media. But anyway, this is James from Living Gardens Homestead. Goodbye.